But if you want to be a governor under my rule, you have to give your pure time to your duty. Even if you make money, honestly, that is not your purpose. Unfortunately, we see today in the Muslim Ummah, most of the Muslim leaders, they are far away from the deen. If you just take the basic concept of Salah, I believe more than 50% of the Muslim leaders, they may not be offering five times Salah in congregation. There may be a handful, just a small percentage who may be offering five times Salah that also in the congregation. So unfortunately, the state of the Muslim Ummah today, we have gone far away from the Quran and Sunnah. That's the reason we have today that the situation that the Ummah is in today because we have gone far away from the Quran and the Sunnah. We have gone far away from the teachings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the teachings of beloved Prophet Muhammad And I do agree with the sister that today unfortunately the choice that we have is so limited and unfortunately most of them would not fit the criteria of how a Muslim leader should be as per the Quran and Sunnah. So what should we do in this situation? What we have to do is that we have to select the best of the worst. And if we analyze, as I mentioned, that almost all the leaders, they don't have the qualities that a true Muslim leader should have, like Hazrat Umar or even a small percentage, not even 2% of the quality of Hazrat Umar so what we have to do, we have to select the best of the worst. And I do agree with the sister that almost all of the Muslim politicians, they are corrupt, whether it be financially, whether it be with Iman, they are almost all. There may be one or two or three exceptions to the rule. So what should we do in this situation? As I mentioned, we should select the best of the worst. Number one, according to me, is that select that Muslim leader who is becoming a leader on the Islamic card that he's proud to be a Muslim and he says that I will I'm proud to be a Muslim and I will upheld the Islamic law whether he does or not is secondary because in today's world the basic rule for a politician today unfortunately is that he has to maintain his chair by hook or by crook it may go against his set of rules, it may go against his deen, it may be go against his family. As long as he is sitting on the chair, he is happy. So he will do anything to maintain his chair. Because of this reason, my first advice is that if two, two Muslim leaders are standing, select that Muslim leader who openly says that he is proud to be a Muslim and he is coming on the Islamic card. He may or may not be a practicing Muslim that is secondary. I will go to the extent of saying that if there is one Muslim leader who is practicing Islam 20% but is coming on the secular card, he is not saying that I will protect the Muslims, I will follow Islam. And there is another Muslim leader who is following 10% of Islam but is coming with the Islamic card. He is openly saying that I will, I will protect the religion of Islam, I will, I will protect the Muslims. Better select the person who is following 10% Islam as coming with the Islamic card rather than the other Muslim leader who is following 20% and is not coming on the Islamic card because the person who is not coming on the Islamic card will not go out of his way to follow the Islamic principles because that is not that was not his trump card to win the election. Whereas the other Muslim leader who may not be following Islam as much as the other person, both are below average. But at least because he's come with the Islamic card, he will see to it that he'll make more masajid. He may not pray Salah, but he'll see to it he will make more masajid, more mosque. He will protect the law of Islam. He will help the Muslim because his trump card to win the election was the Islamic card. This is a very key point. Unfortunately, and we know, as the sister rightly said, that majority almost all are corrupt so but if you have a corrupt leader who's coming with the islamic card is better than a corrupt leader who's coming without the islamic card there are maybe one two or three if we search in the muslim ummah who may be following majority of the faraiz in islam 